Hello YouTubers, Jack and Larry here to talk about the game Geist. They came out in, for the GameCube August 15th, 2005 here in the States. Just looking at the box art, it had a great collage style to it that included ghosts, helicopters, the main villain, and even a shotgun for good measure. All of this bodes well and even the screen music sets the atmosphere as the game begins. killed the moment it goes to a loading screen and there's absolute silence. I can forgive the silent loading screens and I, because I love the rest of the music so much. But on to the story. Uh, you play as John Ramey, or Ramey as everyone calls him, and are a scientist sent in to rescue your friend Thomas Bryson, who is undercover in the Volks Corporation on the way out you get shot and put into a machine where it pulls your body out. And a video game ensues. Rainy. But you're soon taught how to be a ghost and led around by Gigi, the ghost of a five-year-old girl. And yes, it's as creepy as it sounds. The first half of this game was amazing. It had a nice blend of puzzles, gunfights, and boss battles. A great example of the puzzles comes from a scene where you have to take over a light to make it explode. The explosions scare some bats and then make you able to possess them, which is the case with any host you take over. Then you fly the bat up, but since the bat can't open the door, you use it to scare some poor sap who freaks out and runs over next to a manhole cover. Get away from me! You then use the manhole co cover to get him good and scared, and then you can take him over. The... Now you go through the door to the medical wing and talk to this guy who will leave you, and you can enter... Well, I don't want to spoil too much of the game. Now this is what happens for the first half of the game, with some shooting bits and the occasional boss battle thrown in. But once you take over Commander Rourke... Be much, just shoot... 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 Until the very end. That one flaw aside, I must give credit for the cinematic cutscenes that are throughout the game. This scene helps outline two of the characters' personalities in under 30 seconds. Don't. <gasps> but sir, his body was prepped for separation. If I don't administer the counteragent soon, he'll die. Now, I can stabilize his condition if you'll just let me go ahead and- The chamber is destroyed. We don't need him anymore. Let him die. For a game that has some very interesting ideas, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the multiplayer. Maps are unlocked by finding host collectibles in the game, and they unlock different multiplayer maps for fun. With three different choices for multiplayer, Possession Deathmatch, which is just what it sounds like, Capture the Host, which is where ghosts earn points by killing opponents and dispossessing on the base, and Hunt, which is where ghosts take on hosts in a battle for control. For the amazing price, of $3.99 at my local GameStop, I cannot recommend this game enough. The story is amusing, the environments are intriguing, and the combat is great on a console that is not well known for its shooters. I would have to rate this as a very good pickup. So, pick it up and play on. <laughs>